Okay, so I did a video the other day on uh, Lineage OS, so Android 9.0 on Raspberry Pi 4, and this again is the 8 gig model, although this should work exactly the same for the 4 gig model. Uh, I, uh, I've tried games before and they were really bad, uh, really ran badly, because there's no hardware GPU support in this version of Android. Uh, which is common for Raspberry Pi builds, but obviously they're working on it. When the GPU support comes, it will be amazing. But for the moment, if you want to play games on Android, uh, if you try emulation, you'll find that the results are surprisingly good. So if I launch this PlayStation emulator, uh, I can restore the game to where I was just now, and you'll see uh, that it actually copes really well. So let's go for try again just to start that up. And you can see the graphics look pretty decent. It is, it is PlayStation 1, so it depends on what size screen you're looking at as to how good it's going to look. Let's get up fairly be out of the car. But actually, it's really quite playable. Now, there's a problem with audio, uh, and there seems to be a problem. I'm going to use the D. Oh, no, I'm using an analog stick, which doesn't work as well for this version of Gran Turismo. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you can hear, well, you might be able to hear my speaker is kind of spitting out a bit of audio every now and then um, but uh, so audio is an issue uh, and weirdly audio works fine on everything else um, but uh, but on the gaming I've found that maybe because the CPU is working so hard the audio struggles and I've lost it uh, so let's try something else uh, so if I go down with the mouse and back and quit yes quit game so if I quit out of that, uh, and that works, I, I was surprised at how well that works. Game Boy Advance also works pretty well. Uh, and again, Game Boy Advance isn't heavy on graphics. So I was gonna show uh, Road Rash. And I'm using a Bluetooth Xbox One controller. So I'll leave my speaker up just in case any of them work, but I'm pretty sure none of them were working yesterday. Yeah, it's still doing something weird. So I'm gonna turn it down a little bit because it's off-putting. Uh, if you get this weight, just tap on weight. It does it every now and then again in Android, but uh, I found that it definitely seems to be doing it less than it used to. Here we go. So yes, Game Boy Advance uh, graphics aren't the best, but it actually plays at a decent speed. Uh, WarioWare is an excellent game to try on Game Boy Advance. Uh, it's really enjoyable. Oh, get some dollars left. And let's see if I can get, where's my punch button? Not that one. Oh, oh there's my punch. Or whatever, whatever weapon I've got. Kick as well. <laughs> there you go. So, a bit of Game Boy Advance. And I've tried loads of Game Boy Advance games and they all work well. Uh, same with PlayStation. Uh, I did find that the compatibility seemed really good. Come on. Oh quite hard because I've got the buttons configured wrong but it is all all configurable within them these are all um, actually I'm not sure if the PlayStation 1 was free uh, because I think I bought that years ago on Android but uh, all of the others are free emulators so anyway I'm not I don't seem to be able to catch anybody to be able to oh no go on oh he got someone right so let's quit out of that and show you the next one that works. So PSP uh, isn't great, but if you pick the right game and pop all the settings very low, uh, it is usable. But obviously the PSP had quite a decent graphics driver on it. Uh, it's, it's really well emulated on other versions on Raspberry Pi. This motocross versus ATV doesn't run, but Retro City Rampage does and let's skip past all that and this is like gta 1 or 2 uh but on psp and it's got this sort of neon feel to it i i don't know if this was this original game on the psp or is this a a user generated game it, it is really good it's really enjoyable uh but it is a bit slow on here uh so i need to skip past all these i don't oh, hold x to skip past everything there we go, so we can fast forward fast all that. And you can do the usual and get in a car. And yet the frame skip is on, so it's a bit 
it's a bit funny and oh actually I can use the d-pen but it works so you can see I'm supposed to go wherever the arrow is pointing it actually plays really well uh, oh there we go that was our my mission was to go over there anyway I won't play any more of that but uh, obviously it depends on the um, <laughs> obviously I wasn't supposed to do that uh, it depends on what game you're playing but the ones that heavily rely on the the gpu aren't going to work um definitely not but i figured because this is all 2d uh, we might be safe and uh and it is still playable so last one is n64 uh which again i had to play around with some of the settings the settings were very high uh before i adjusted them so if i hit play and resume and again, my buttons aren't properly configured for this because, you know, I've got other things that RetroPie plays all of these much better. But you'll see that actually movement wise, it does seem to be coping quite well. You see? So let's just quit out of that. Uh, so let's... I do like being able to resume a game. Right, it won't let me quit out. Why is it not going back? Let's just hit the home button. And these all stay, because it's Android, they all stay up and running, so you can flick between them. So if I do that, you can see all sorts of things that are open. In fact, can I use the, if I use the joystick pad for this, it's much, much quicker. So you can see N64, PSP, Game Boy Advance, and PlayStation. There's my file management, this is uh, settings, Google Play Store, and then we can have a look here and we can see what sort of temperatures we've been running at. Uh, so, thermal, and I've just got my cheap Amazon case on it, 54 degrees, so nothing bad at all there. Uh, and if I go back up the system, you can see that available memory 6.8 meg, uh, 6.8 gig. So uh, so yeah, it copes really well. There we go. So loads of things working. Um, it's this build of Android hasn't really had much of an update uh, since it came out. I think in February, but it would be really nice to see GPU support and uh, and going on. Uh, I think it could be a viable thing on Raspberry Pi. Certainly to, opens up some more games and things like that. And uh, video services are very good on Android. So I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.